Dreams are Snap 2, which we're probably not going to see. Uh, a Mystery Dungeon game, which we're probably not going to see. Excuse me! Please wake up! <laughs> Come on, wake up! <laughs> What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another reaction. This is me watching the Nintendo Direct, the Pokemon Direct, the first Nintendo Direct of 2020. I'm hyped. It starts in about seven minutes. It's 323 in Switzerland. I am super excited. Not only that, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Pokemon is my favorite franchise. So regardless of what they show today, it's going to make me hype. If you haven't watched my prediction video, I am hoping that we see something for Sword and Shield as far as DLC. Uh, Pokemon Home and Sleep, I think that's a must. That's something we probably guarantee to see. Dreams are Snap 2 which we're probably not going to see. Uh, a Mystery Dungeon game, which we're probably not going to see. Diamond and Pearl Remix, which we're not, probably not going to see. Um, Let's Go Johto, which we're probably not going to see. And the upcoming 2020 Pokemon game, like the main RPGs that's going to come out later this year. I say that we're not going to see it because of the fact that it's literally two months after Sword and Shield drop. I doubt that they will release a trailer for what's coming in November if it is a brand new take of, you know, like the remakes of a, or a past region or if it's something that you know if it's a you know sword and shield 2 i don't think they're gonna do that i think they would do if it is a huge step forward and they've been keeping this secret you know what i'm saying i doubt that that's the case so i doubt they will show it you know what i'm saying they have no reason to show us the next pokemon games when these are like a huge selling factor for the nintendo switch right now and nintendo switch Lite and shit like that so granted i am happy regardless of what they show take a sip of my my cafe got the phones in just in case it just starts i do want to introduce um my channel everybody that's following to somebody that's going to be watching the director with me that's why i got this couch in the back or when i do reactions and other people want to join in they can or if i'm having a you know people over into the studio and we could play together and shit like that say hi to Melo. milo say hi as you can see he's he's chilling He's chilling. Is he going to get hype and bark when I get hype and jump up and scream? Hopefully not, because that probably fuck up the audio and make the, the video sound bad. He's here today, so it is going to be special. 2020, let's go. Also, let me know your thoughts on the background, the setup, the audio quality, everything. Like, I, I'm trying to make this place sound flawless as well as, you know, the video quality be as best as it could. So, um... You know, roast me in the comments or give me critiques in the comments about that. It is 3.27. I'm rambling. Hopefully, the direct starts soon. Direct starts soon. Here we go. It's starting. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. In today's Let's broadcast, go. I'd like to touch on two topics. Two topics? Let's get started Holy with sleep? the first topic. Have a look at the following footage. Okay, what is it? Pokemon Home, please. 2006. Excuse me? Please wake up! Come on, wake up! What is this? A mystery Dungeon? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 2007? 2020? Let's go. Let's go! Look at the art! Oh my god! Okay, Let's go! Rescue Team DX. Rescue Team DX. It looks like a full remake of the like. Is this the OG one? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Fucking mystery dungeon. Let's go on the switch. Please don't be a phone game. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yes, on the Rescue Switch. Team yes. DX. Okay. 
It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red years, Rescue bro. Team Let's and go. Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance systems in Japan. But now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DS Mystery Dungeon. Let's go. will be released March 6, 2020. March 6, okay. Pre-purchase starts later today. What's more, okay. we'll release a demo version on Nintendo eShop, available later, later today. Later today, yes! Full You'll play through of the demo, later today! Of the game once yes! So yes! Take this opportunity Let's to get go, a of the bro! Fun. Let's go! Now, for the other topic, I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Game Freak? Okay. Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori. <laughs> It's all yours. Masuda. All right, yeah, it's Sword and Shield. This is Sword and Shield stuff. He said, you know, Masuda and Omori. Those are the people. I yes, believe. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm Masuda from yeah. Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Omori, also from Game Freak. Okay. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, yes, since their release yes. last November. Yes, we have! Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. Okay. Alright. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. Okay. We got and more? The region is a vast one. Yes, we, we know. We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. Mm-hmm. We we've did. been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. DLC, please, DLC! We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. Mm -hmm. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Expansion Pass! Downloadable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Oh wow, purchase DLC. So separately. Until now, wow. we've sometimes so released new titles set in the same region as previous games. Okay. Such as that Pokemon Platinum version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Okay, talk about it, talk about it. This expansion pass will be different from those games. Okay. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. Okay, all right. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what yes. new experiences await you. What's new, what's new? So this is DLC stuff that we... That Please are in have the a game's look. Code. That's in the game code? Like stuff that's already there, this that's DLC stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Our adventure continues. Okay. That was alright. That was this girl right away. The I forgot the bird's name. That's currently not in Sword and Shield. We get in new places? Oh, this is all just like concept art for a while right? Okay. Got Gentum What's going on? Oh, new gym leaders. Okay. Right? Come on. Don't nod. Nah, don't just tease us with this. What is this? New clothes, new outfits, new hair stuff? Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. New clothes, okay. Okay. Well, come on. Now, now, show it in game. Don't just see the start. We passed that. The games are out. Oh, wow. These look like entirely new. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Show them. Oh! Oh! New G-Max! Okay. Okay, G-Max for them, obviously. Okay. What? Some had a sniper. Oh, new areas! Brand new areas. The Isle of Armor. Show it in game. Stop fucking being scared. Show us.
I think a lot of this stuff is like not ready to show. That's why they just show the art, but come on. Oh, the regular, the, the real. Oh! They got Galari in legendary forms. Oh, and they teasing that slow poke, man. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh my god, God Chomp. Let's go. Legendary birds? What? Whoa! 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 What is that? That's Lugia? I mean, um. That's Articuno. What the fuck? What the fuck? Did he just skip back? Oh my god, I should just skip back. What the fuck? So we got new G-Maxes. Of the Score Bunny, Elteleon, new areas of the wild area, the Owl of Armor. So it's showing it again. All right, all right. I don't know why I have to skip. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Nintendo. Okay. Trainer, new trainer outfits. They're showing us the, the Reggie Trio. And then we see, like, literally a new Reggie Trio. What the fuck? And then a new Slowpoke. A like, new Slowpoke Evolution. They're already in Evolution. New backpack options. The legendary trio got brand new looks. Articuno looks insane, bruh! Look at Zapdos! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! The crown? Oh my god. Part one and part two? Oh! It's two different parts! Not actual game footage? Obviously! of the fucking the doggos? What the fuck? What the fuck? What did you think of this first look? Explain Pokemon it! Pokemon Sword, Phantom <laughs> Pass, <laughs> and the Pokemon voice. Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned okay. to be released June In June! And the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in Fall 2020. Okay. So if you buy the no Pokemon Sword Pokemon or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Okay. That's cool. Each part offers a different adventure. How much is the uh, Expansion Pass? Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. Okay. There are two versions of the Expansion Pass. One for Pokemon Sword, and one for Pokemon Shield. Oh, come on, different like, Pokemon what? will appear in the different versions, and you'll also run into some different people and places. We're hoping okay. players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of uh, trading with one another and crummy? working together. Because, do we have now, to buy without the further ado, let's have the twice? director himself present more if information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Mr. Tani? Like, double the games, double the DLC. Like... Hello, I'm Hello. Tani from Game Freak. Hey Tani. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon okay. Shield Expansion Pass. Okay. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. Okay. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. You guys showed us designs and concept art already. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Take a look. 
Okay. I will. <laughs> Let's go. The next this destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Gala region known as the Isle of Armor. The Isle of This Armor. island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find okay. beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar Dwelling there too. Of course. <laughs> of There's course. a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. A dojo, okay. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. An uh, apprenticeship? This is Mustard, who will become your Mustard. Model. He's DJ also the Mustard? mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably okay. know quite well. Yes, in we fact, do. Mustard has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. Okay. You'll also so encounter new silly. rivals among your fellow apprentices. Mm -hmm. When playing with the Pokemon silly. Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a poison Clara. type user. Okay. When playing with the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a psychic type user. Oh, psychic, okay. They're both training That's hard cool. so they can someday have a gym and stadium to call their own. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokemon that will be central to the story. What? Cub Fu. Cub it's a fighting type Pokemon that strives to become to stronger with single minded dedication. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Okay, so we get the. Once you complete your training together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve into Urshifu. What? Urshifu is That's a what Pokemon in, uh... with two distinct styles. There okay. is Single Strike style. A fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at fighting a blinding and speed. Fighting dark type style. Okay. And then there's the shield style. There is also rapid strike style. A fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing okay. a torrent of rapid strikes. Okay. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax oh, form. Okay. Each style will have a different Ooh. appearance, as well as a different G-Max move. You'll okay. be able to evolve your Kubfu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles, Single Strike Style or Rapid Strike Sword Style shield, during right? your Sword adventure. And shield? Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability, and it also has a new move for each of its two styles. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official okay. competitions. That's cool. And that hasn't been leaked. This is a Pokemon that we also hasn't want to talk been about leaked. That's crazy. Cinderace and Inteleon. Final evolutions okay. of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Galar region. Look at During him. your adventure in the Isle of Armor, yes! the partners in your oh team will be able to gigantic. You got your sniper rifle! You can look forward to seeing Pokemon their new gun and new G-Max moves. Oh my god. And as you can see here, we've got Gorgeous. even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun as possible. There are new oh, fashion items. What? And you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. Okay, finally, finally! I hope you'll look forward to the new yes, experiences yes. in the Isle of Armor. Fucking Blastoise and Venusaur G Max. Next, I'd those. like to discuss the Crown Tundra, the second area, okay. which has a theme of exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look okay. for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining Yo, silver I'm landscape. Yo, I'm shocked! This is like two As brand new Pokemon out, games. The Isle of like Armor isn't the only Pokemon uncharted game area game. waiting for you all in the Gala region. Oh, we got gravestones. In this frigid area, with its go. towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Okay. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokemon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Of course. Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. Yep. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. Okay. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard swept fields and even deep inside Who's that Pokemon person is gonna be? which you could Who's only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokemon you'll discover during your adventure. Calyrex? Okay, they just Legends showing us. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. Okay. It's characterized by its graceful, regal movements. What the fuck? Get ready to experience a never-before-told story about the crazy. mysteries of Calyrex. 
Calyrex. Okay. Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. Co-op? This what? will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Okay. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games Dynamaxing before you Okay. Your eyes. All right. All right. You'll be past able to games. meet and make allies you too. all kinds of okay. legendary all Pokemon right. all during right. adventures okay. in the Crown Tundra. Okay. Okay. Including this ones you'll be able to catch through this co-op. Yes. Legendaries returning. It also Let's that go. Some brand new Let's legendary go. Pokemon are also waiting to be found somewhere in this land. Okay. Okay. All right. And combined with the Isle of Armor. Dozens of new clothing items will be added. Okay, a hundred new. Plus, there will be Whoa! new items waiting for you to mask once you complete from... your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokemon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor okay. and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the okay. gallery. Okay where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect okay. with other trainers and play with them, too. There will be okay. Pokemon dens Slow as well, down. I can see you'll that. be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. Okay. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. I bet. <laughs> we'll bring you more information about them much. in future news reports, so please stay tuned. Let's go, yo, I'm about to, like, this is, like, unheard of for Pokemon. DLC. What did you think? It's fucking amazing. We at Game Freak are all working hard to bring you new content. Are they dropping a 2020 So you can spend more time having think fun so. in the gallery. I think that's, like, a no. As far as our main We hope you're as excited RPG? as we are for nah, what's to come. Base. And is that it? Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor, and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokémon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. There will be more than 200 Pokémon species that appear in these areas, okay. and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokémon mentioned before. Additionally, we'll be distributing free updates for Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield okay, that will coincide with the releases well. of the okay. Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Okay, we get free updates too. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the island. Oh, okay. That's dope. That is dope. So you're not Players will also left be able up, to bring other Pokemon to their games from the cloud service Pokemon Home. Okay. As long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pack. Okay. But what about Pokemon Home? When are we getting it? Pokemon, Pokemon Home, Home is planned to launch in February. February, yes! Yes! We, we intend to release date. even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. Okay. You could have did it here. Finally, this is we a have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. Starting today, it seems like you're more likely Starting to run today. into Gigantamax Colossal, Yes! Yes! Gigantamax Lapras, Let's go. and Gigantamax Lapras. Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in Max Raid oh, Battles okay. in the Wild. I was about to say Flapple. Face these powerful the Pokemon fuck? with your friends. <laughs> All right, let's go. There will That's also cool. be a software update going live available later today. Okay. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara. <gasps> what? While in Pokemon New Shield, a... you'll run into oh Avery. God. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. What? You can try to catch it and add it to your team. Galarian what? Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor. What? Or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found Slow in the Crown Galari Tundra. What? So we have to Don't wait? Don't forget to check it out. We had to catch a Slowpoke what and then wait into the DLC? Today, what the hell? Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. Let's go! We've Free been able content to get today! For the Let's go, bro! For you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Each part offers a different adventure. Okay. We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. Okay. Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, okay. we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Okay. Let us know Stay the bad news and more updates in the future. Oh, sure.
I was gonna say, let us know the bad news that there's. My Madden thanks to everyone from Game Freak. As far as new RPG, the Pokemon Sword don't say expansion that. Pass and Pokemon Shield mad. expansion pass, which Thinking contains there's something both that is. the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop Ooh. later today. Thirty dollars for two DLC drops. You'll also be able Not to access bad. Nintendo eShop directly from oh the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield menu what, really? once you install the latest update for your game. As a special purchase bonus, we've also prepared some clothing items that can be used starting today. Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy to people around the world. Thank you for tuning in. 33. And that's it? Oh, come on, Nintendo! Okay, so the video just ended on my ass. Woo! Yo, I'm fucking high, bro. High, 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 high. Yeah, that's how it ends, bro. That's how it ends. Available for pre-purchase later today. And then he walks into the thing and it just ends? Yeah. That's how it ends on the official fucking video. Thank you, fucking Nintendo. Wow. Okay, I thought it was just me. Yo, they dead ass fucked up the live stream on that. But that shit was fire! That shit was fire. We got Mystery Dungeon, which I'm super excited about. And then on top of that, we got DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which starts today. Which starts today. There's going to be an update with a Slowpoke. We meet Slowpoke. We catch Slowpoke. Slowpoke could evolve into Slow King or Slow Bro, depending on an item that you get from the DLC. That's cool. That's out of the way. That's dope. That's dope. Give us a taste now. And then we also have a new um, Gigantamax um, form event where um, Lapras and a, a couple of other Gigantamax forms that are already available in the game are going to be more widely available um, as far as becoming more common, just like we got the Snorlax event. So that's cool as well. So I got to do those raids. Whoa, we got tons of shit. The pricing on it, I mean, just go over it. The pricing is kind of iffy because it's thirty dollars for basically half a game that you get partially now and then half of it partially later. That's like half of a brand new full price game. I'm wishy washy on that, especially coming from someone that like, yo, if you got Pokemon Sword, do you have to buy the Pokemon Sword DLC and then buy the Pokemon Shield DLC? Because then that means you're paying another sixty on top if you have both. Am I misleading? Is that true? So, however, the pricing is kind of iffy. I'm kind of happy that we didn't get no Pokemon Sleep News. I'm kind of happy that they brushed over Pokemon Home very quickly and didn't like dive into it. Um, I do feel like, again, I mean, I need to touch on that, that the, the pricing for um, the DLC is kind of like, I'm gonna get it. But I just, I don't know if we have to buy two, if you are a sword and shield owner, do you have to double up for the expansion pass? Or would you just buy one and it works on both? I'm unsure of that, but I'm pretty sure you guys gotta let me know in the comment section below. However, everything looks so fucking dope. I can't wait for the updates. I'm sold. Mystery Dungeon, I'm sold. We got that demo today. Let's play the demo. Let's let's go in. Let's play the demo. I'm super hyped. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this Nintendo Direct. I felt it was perfect. It was a lot of super dope stuff that I am very excited for. As you guys know, I'm a Gen 1er, so seeing Blastoise and Venusaur with their own Gigantamax forms, dope. Returning Pokemon, dope. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres having brand new looks for the Galar region. Dope. Same thing with the Reggie trio. I'm down for that. They are bringing all the old legendaries back. That's dope. They added two new legendaries. One evolves, and then one is like this fucking shit with the balls around his head. It had a huge balls ahead. Dope. I'm down for it all, man. I'm down for it all. Let's go. I'm fucking like crying. And as you can see, Mel. Mel. Mellow chilling over there. So again, let me know your thoughts of the direct in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's chat it up down there and have a conversation about this Nintendo Direct. If you're new around here, I do Pokemon content and tons of other stuff. And when I say other stuff, I mean trailer reaction reviews, I mean uh, Let's Plays, I play different games besides Pokemon. Whenever I do, I just record myself playing it, upload it here to YouTube. So if again, if you wanna hit that subscribe button for that content, hit that subscribe button. It'll mean a lot to me. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop a video, which might be the Mystery Dungeon Let's Play, because I'm 
I'm gonna play the shit out of that. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, please. It does help out a ton as far as moving the video over and to recommend it so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. I'm trying to get this one out as soon as fucking possible. There was so many hiccups with the Nintendo Direct itself, so I'm gonna have to chop it up to be in the like the correct order and for it to play right. Problem, but I'm gonna get to it right now. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy I'm a Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.